This conference will now be recorded. Good morning. Good morning. Any new members today? Uh, I think most of the people have attended the demo session, right? Anybody new completely who haven't attended the demo? Yeah, hi, Fira. Uh, this is Kotesh for this session. Hi, uh, this is uh, Susmita. So today, just will recap that the demo session part and we'll continue with the rest of the features. Okay, just will recap what exactly we have discussed as part of demo session. So as part of the demo session, we have discussed what exactly the cloud computing, what is the use, and what kind of services cloud computing offers to the customers. And what is the significance of this Salesforce in this cloud industry we have discussed. Just we'll recap that part today and then we'll go with the test of the features. So that already we have discussed cloud computing provide the various approaches to access each and every IT service on rental basis. Generally, whenever if you want to access any IT resource, it may be a ready-made software, it may be a platform, it may be an infrastructure, in order to automate your business processes, then we have to buy those software licenses. It may be programming language, it may be a database, it may be a tool, it may be a server. We need to do the huge investment in order to buy the license of that software. But when coming to the cloud computing, Cloud computing provides the various approaches to utilize these resources on rental basis. Because in the real world, we are taking so many resources on rental basis. Like we are taking flats on rental basis. We are utilizing some cars on rental basis to travel from one place to another place. We are utilizing the various resources like our internet access we are taking on rental basis. And the electricity we are taking it on rental basis. So, so many resources we can be taking it on rental basis in the real world. Like the similar way, we can take that IT resources also on rental basis with the help of cloud computing. Like for example, assume that if you want to use MS Office, okay, if you want to use MS Office, which is the latest version, then first of all, we have to buy the license for that MS Office, then we have to install it your local system, then only we can start utilizing that. But when coming to the cloud computing, it has introduced an approach, no need to buy the license on the MS service by investing some huge amount. No need to invest that huge amount. We can take it on rental basis. Whatever the resources are offering to you, we can take it on rental basis. That too, we no need to install anything. Because cloud computing provides the various cloud resources, cloud services, which doesn't require any installation. Directly, we can be able to access those resources with the help of browser and internet access. Just with the help of browser and the internet access, we can be able to utilize those applications or platforms or the server resources, also whatever you want. Okay, now, so now as part of cloud computing, cloud computing is providing the resources on rental basis which can be accessible over the internet without any installation. Suppose if you are taking any programming languages, like as C programming, C, Java, Darknet, or any databases like as Oracle, SQL Server, these all are on premise applications. On premise means we need to collect that software, we have installed it to our local system, then only we can start utilizing. 
If you want to develop a small Java application, first of all, Java software without installing the local system. Then only we can develop some small application. If you want to use MS Office, first of all, you have to install the MS Office into your local system. Then only we can start utilizing to prepare some documentations, presentations, spreadsheets, all these things we can prepare. Suppose if you want to develop a smart document based application, document software you have to install into your local system. Then only we can start utilizing. If you want to use some Apple database, we have installed Apple database software into your local system. Then only we can start utilizing. That means what? It requires the installation. But when coming to the cloud applications, cloud applications does not require any installation. Directly, we can able to access those cloud applications with the path browser internet access. We don't want any installations. We no need any prerequisite software. We no need have any prerequisite hardware like a 4 GB of RAM, 6 GB of RAM, nothing. Even though you are utilizing the basic model of mobile also, if it is having the browser and internet access capability, that is sufficient to access your cloud resources. That facility has been introduced by the cloud computing. So cloud computing provides all the resources, okay, all the resources are rental basis, which it does not require any installations. Directly, we can able to access those resources with the help of browser and internet access. Okay, so no need to install anything into a local system. So no need to maintain any physical hardware like as 4 GB of RAM and 1 terabyte of memory, nothing. Even though you are having a very basic model of mobile, or a smartphone, or a tab device, or a desktop, or a laptop, any device whatever we want, we can use that any device. Just we need a browser and the internet access. That's it. We don't want any prerequisite software to install inside the device. Directly by connecting to the internet, we can able to access those applications and we can able to automate our business processes also. The facility has been introduced by the cloud computing team. Okay, so that with the help of cloud computing, we can take so many resources on rental basis which can be accessible over the internet with the help of browser and internet access. Okay, so which does not require any installation. Which does not require any prerequisite software, which does not require any prerequisite hardware. Directly, we can able to access even though we're using a legacy system also. That means I'm having a very old system, okay, which is having very less configuration, like some 256 MB of RAM. Even though you are having very less configuration system that is capable to access your on demand applications or the cloud applications, which has been offered by the cloud computing team. Okay, now. So let's make a note of this one. Make a small note of this one. The cloud computing. That already we have discussed. Now tell me, what do you mean by this cloud computing basically? Is it a programming or is it a concept? Concept. Okay. As part of demo session, we have discussed. Cloud computing is not a programming language. It's not a technology. It's not a database. It's not an operating system. It's not a tool. Cloud computing is simply a concept. The cloud computing is simply a concept which provides all IT resources to you on rental basis, which can be accessible over the internet by using the browser and internet access. Okay? We don't want any pre-installations. Directly, we can access the cloud applications with the help of browser and internet access capability. Generally, other software requires installations. Like when you go to your mobile applications which are available inside your Play Store or App Store, every mobile application requires installations. First of all, we have to install that application into your mobile device, then only we can start utilizing it. It may be game also, it may be entertainment application also, it may be technology related application also, it may be banking application also, it may be WhatsApp also, it may be Paytm also, whatever. First of all, we have to install that application from the Play Store to your the mobile device, then only we can start utilizing that. But when coming to the cloud applications, it doesn't require any installation. Directly, we can access with the help of browser and then internet access. That's it. No need of any installations as part of cloud applications. Okay, cloud applications can be accessible directly over the internet because cloud is for internet. Applications are already there inside the internet. So to access that application, just need to connect to the internet with the help of browser and the internet access capability. That's it. 
so that we don't want any pre-installations as part of the cloud applications. Okay, now just to make a note of this one. Cloud computing. It is a transfer. Which provides the various approaches of accessing each IT resource. Each IT resource. IT resources which were some ready made software. Our platforms. Our infrastructure also. Infrastructure means server resources. Infrastructure also. And rental bases. And rental bases. <coughs> and can be accessible. Accessible over the internet with the help of the browser and internet access. With the help of the browser and the internet access, we can able to access these IT resources. <laughs> now, as part of cloud applications, cloud application doesn't require any installation. Cloud applications doesn't require any installation. Directly, we can able to access the application with the help of any device. We no need of a laptop, we no need of a desktop. Any device you can use. It may be a desktop, it may be a laptop, it may be a mobile, it may be a smartphone, it may be a tab, it may be any other device which may come in the future also. Which is having the browser and internet access capability, that device is sufficient to access your cloud application. Okay, so no need to maintain a desktop and laptop mandatory. Suppose if we want to use some Java, compulsorily we require either a desktop or laptop. Inside the mobile devices, we can't install this. If you want to use other software, we need a desktop or laptop. All of the mobile devices will not be supporting MS Office to install. If you want to use Azure database, compulsorily we require a desktop or laptop. In the mobile devices, we can't install this Azure database because these devices will not be supporting to install those software. But cloud applications have been designed in such a way those applications does not express any installations directly which are able to access those applications with the help of browser and the internet access. Okay? Now, simply in one word I can say, you know everybody is aware of a Gmail application. The people are accessing the Gmail application by using desktop also, laptop also, basic model of mobile also, smartphone also, tab devices also. By using all the devices, we are accessing the Gmail application. Now tell me, in order to access a Gmail application, do we need to install anything into a local system, into a local device? Gmail will enforce to install anything? No. Just directly we can go to the browser, type gmail.com with the help of internet access, access the application, send the mails and receive the mails also. That means what? Gmail application does not request any installations because Gmail is a 100% cloud application. Okay? Gmail application is one of the 100% cloud application where it does not request any installation which can be supported by all the devices whatever we have. Any device we can use to access the Gmail application. Okay, because Gmail is also one of the cloud applications which has been built by the Google people. Okay, like the similar way we have so many cloud vendors available who are offering the cloud services to their customers. Okay, now, so in this case, when coming to the cloud computing, cloud computing is providing the various resources to you on rental basis which can be accessible just with the help of the browser and the internet access which can be accessible by using any device whatever we have. So that we no need to have any installations directly we can able to access those resources by connecting to the internet with the help of browser and the internet access. Now, so now in this case, who are offering the various cloud services? Who are offering the various cloud services to the customers? That already we have discussed in the demo session, we have so many vendors that are available. Like for example, if you want to take a loan, okay, to construct a house, 
or to buy some car, whatever. We are basically contacting the various banking organizations and the financial organizations in order to get some loan so that we can fulfill our financial needs. Suppose if you want to, like as if you want to take a mobile network, then we need a SIM card. But that one we are having so many vendors that are available. We can go with any other mobile network vendor, like as Vodafone, Airtel, Geo, Idea, BSNL, like there are so many vendors that are available. If you want to take a car on rental basis, we are having so many vendors that are available. Like the similar way, if you want to take some cloud resources on rental basis, we are having so many vendors that are available. Those vendors are also called as cloud vendors. Those vendors are also called as cloud vendors. That means these are the various vendors who are offering the cloud services to their customers on rental basis. Okay? So now the cloud resources are offering with the various vendors, those are called as cloud vendors. Now, we have so many cloud vendors that are available in our IT industry. From those cloud vendors, some of the major cloud vendors are Amazon. Amazon is one of the cloud vendors who are offering the cloud purchases to the customers on rental basis. And we have Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com is also one of the organization which is offering the cloud resources to the customers on rental basis. We have Microsoft. Microsoft is also offering few cloud services to the customers. And IBM, they are offering few cloud services. And we have Oracle. Oracle people are having with their own cloud, they are offering the cloud services to the customers. We have Alibaba. Alibaba is also offering the various cloud resources. Recently, Alibaba has been entered into the mobile network also. They are also offering the mobile networks to the customers. And we have GoDaddy. GoDaddy is also one of the cloud vendors that are offering the various cloud resources. And then VMware, Citrix, Adobe Systems, and then Navisai. So these are the various cloud vendors that are available who are offering the cloud resources to their customers on rental basis. Okay? They are offering the cloud resources to their customers on rental basis. So we have so many vendors that are available okay, in our IT industry in the real world who are offering the cloud resources to their customers on rental basis. From those vendors, some of the major vendors are Amazon, Salesforce.com, Microsoft, IBM, Oracle, Alibaba, Navisai, GoDaddy, like there are so many vendors that are available who are offering the cloud resources to their customers on rental basis. From that vendor, one of that major vendor is Salesforce.com. Okay, one of the major vendor is Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com is what basically? Is it a concept or is it an organization? You say organization. Okay, Salesforce.com is an organization which is offering the various cloud services to their customers on rental basis. Okay, now. So then coming to the Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com is an organization. Okay, Salesforce.com is an organization which has been started in 1990s. Okay, which has been started in 1990s by a person called as Mark Benia. Okay, by a person called as Mark Benia. He is the CEO of the organization and he is the founder of this organization. Okay, now. Salesforce.com is an organization which is offering the various cloud services to their customers on rental basis. Now, so Salesforce.com is also one of the vendors. Salesforce.com means not cloud computing. Cloud computing is different, Salesforce.com is different. Cloud computing is nothing but a concept. The cloud computing is simply a concept which provides the various surveys, various standards, various channels, various guidelines through which we can offer the cloud services to our customers on rental basis. So now they have given the various principles to you to provide IT resources to our customers on rental basis. So now that concepts have been utilized by the various vendors. From those vendors, one of the vendors is Salesforce.com. Now, now come to your general scenario. We can understand more. For example, everybody knows the word insurance. 
okay, everybody knows the word insurance. People might be having insurance policies also. Now tell me, what do you mean by insurance? What do you mean by insurance? Is it an organization? Is it a concept? Concept. Insurance is simply a concept. Okay, insurance is a simply a concept. What it describes basically? What is the use of insurance? Whenever the person has met with some losses, whenever the person has met with some damages for their property or for their house also, for the vehicle also, then how can we recover from those damages? How can we claim those damages? The concept has been introduced by the insurance. Insurance is not an organization. Insurance is simply a concept which has given the various ideas, various principles, various ways by using which the user can able to recover its losses. The user can recover its damages also. So in this case, whenever the person has made with some accident, then because of the accident, his car has been completely damaged. At that time, I can claim it because of having insurance. By using that insurance, you can able to claim that amount. Not 100 percent, it is some 80 percent amount. We can claim it. There is a possibility. Whenever you got hospitalized, if you are having some health insurance, we can able to claim that amount. We can get back that amount also. There is a possibility so that what are the losses that you have met? What are the damages that we have for your property or for your car, for your vehicle, or for your health also? We can recover those damages with the help of this insurance. So, so many ways have been given by the insurance. Now, the insurance the concept has been utilized by the various organizations. Like we are having so many insurance companies are available. But we are having LIC, Bharati Alsa, Future Generally, ICICI, SDFC. When there are so many insurance companies are available, these people are utilizing the insurance concept based on the insurance concept, based on the principles that affect so many small, small policies. These policies are selling out to their customers. Okay? Insurance is a concept which is utilizing by the various organizations based on the concept that affect so many policies, those policies are providing to their customers. Like the similar thing, cloud computing is a concept which is giving the various approaches to provide the IT resources on rental basis to their customers. That concept has been utilized by all these organizations. These organizations are utilizing the cloud computing concept. Based on that concept, these people are preparing their own software, their own platforms, their own infrastructures, all these resources that are providing to their customers on rental basis. Okay? So now, like as that insurance organizations, insurance companies, like the similar way, we are having so many vendors are available for the cloud computing also. So these are the various organizations who are utilizing the cloud computing principles. Based on the cloud computing principles, these people are maintaining their own cloud services. They are developing their own software, their own platforms, their own infrastructures, and all these resources are providing to their customers on rental basis. Okay, so now from these vendors, one of the vendors is Salesforce.com. So Salesforce.com is one of the organization which is offering the cloud services to the customers on rental basis. Okay, which has been started in 1990s by a person called Mark Vinyas. So he is the CEO of the organization and he is the founder of this organization. Now, so when coming to this organization, from the beginning, so from the beginning, the purely concentrated on the on-demand services. The purely concentrated on on-demand services. On-demand services means for cloud services, which can be accessible just with the help of internet access and then browser without any installations. Okay, without any installations, directly we can able to access all the on-demand services which is offered by the Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com is an organization which is offering purely the on-demand services or cloud services to the customers. We don't have the concept of on-premise in Salesforce. On-premise in the sense which requires installation. No need to install anything okay, in order to access that application, in order to access that platform or the resource. Anything. Directly we can access that cloud resource just with the help of the browser and the internet access capability. <laughs> that can be accessible by using any device, whatever we have. 
No need to maintain a laptop or the stuff mandatorily. Any device, whatever we have, we can use the device in order to access the on demand applications, which is offered by the salesforce.com. Okay? Clear up to this one? No. So now when connected to the salesforce.com, they are offering the various classifications of services to their customers. They are offering the SaaS services. Okay, they are offering SaaS services. SaaS means what? What is the full form of SaaS? Software as a service. That means they are offering some ready made software to their customers on rental basis. As a service. That means services we can take it on rental basis. Like uh, internet access, it's a service. Electricity is a service. And then cars, we can take it on rental basis. These are all our services. Services, we can take it on rental basis. So now in this case, Salesforce.com is an organization which is offering the various ready-made software to the customers on rental basis. Now, to the SaaS in the sense what, whenever you are placing some ready-made software, like a software means a ready-made application, like as your notepad, like as your MS Office, like as your Skype, like that here we can able to build our applications, those applications we can provide to our customers on rental basis. It's a ready-made application, which is already having so many ready-made features are available. Inbuilt features are available, which can be used to automate our business processes. Okay, now. In this case, if the ready-made software are exactly suits to your business, what are the features are available inside this software? If these features are exactly suits to your business, then we can take that software on rental basis. No need to buy the license of that software. We can take that software on rental basis. Okay? So with the help of that software as a service, that means we can take the ready-made software on rental basis, which can be accessible with the help of browser and the internet access. No need to install anything into your local system. Okay? Even though it may be any IT resource, it may be ready-made software, also it may be platform also, anything we can able to access just by using browser, internet access, without any installation. So that ready-made software, we can take it on rental basis with the help of software as a service. Okay? By using this SaaS feature, we can take some ready-made applications on rental basis. Okay? Now, now make a note of this one. By using this feature, we can access the ready-made application offered by Salesforce on rental basis. What are the ready-made applications offered by Salesforce? Those ready-made applications, we can take it on rental basis. Okay? By using this feature, SaaS feature, we can take the ready-made applications, ready-made softwares, we can take it on rental basis. So now in this case, what kind of ready-made applications offered by Salesforce to the customer? Salesforce is offering a ready-made application called as Salesforce CRM. The Salesforce is offering a ready-made application called as Salesforce CRM. Salesforce is offering a ready-made application to the customers on rental basis that is called as Salesforce CRM. Now, so now let's see what exactly is a Salesforce CRM. Okay, what exactly the Salesforce CRM and what we can do with the help of the Salesforce CRM. Now, so what do you mean by this CRM? What exactly CRM stands for? Customer Relationships Management. Then what do you mean by Customer Relationship Management? What we can do? Okay. So we can uh, make address contacts. Address. Okay. We can store all the customer details also. Hmm. We can maintain address contacts and all the other details of the customer and the relationships so that we can enhance the business. Okay. It is a platform between the company and the customer. Okay. It provides a platform so that the customers can communicate with the various salespeople. 
service people also, marketing people also directly so that they can enable to address their queries as well. <laughs> now, Shringi scans when coming to that sales for CRM. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. For every organization, for every business, customer is a face. Customer is the guard for every organization. Because without the customer, we can't sell out the product, we can't provide the services, we can't generate the revenue, we can't get the profit. If there is a customer, then only there is an organization. If there is no customer, there is no business, there is no sales, there is no revenue, there is no, there is no organization at all. So that customer is the base for each and every organization. Customer is a guard for every organization because without the customer, we can't run the business. So in this case, in order to store that customer's information, okay, in order to store that customer's information, in order to store the details of that customers, their contact details, the products which they have purchased, complaints which they have raised, okay, all this information, the whole information of the customer, we can able to automate at one place. We can store at one place with the help of CRM application. With the help of CRM applications, we can store all the customer details at one place. That means we can able to store the complete history of the customers at one place. Okay. We can store the complete history of the customers at one place. Like from capturing the customer, from the capturing the customer till now. The customer may be a very old customer who is utilizing the resources since almost 10 years. 10 years back, he has started utilizing the product. So keep on he's utilizing the product still. Keep on he's purchasing some new products also, which we have offered. So at that time, from 10 years time, we're talking about from the last 10 years till now, how many times this customer has visited my organization? How many products this customer has purchased? How much revenue I have generated from this customer? How much profit we got from this customer? And what kind of complaints the customer has raised? What kind of warranties we have offered to the customer? What kind of benefits we have offered to the customer? What kind of discounts we have offered to the customer? What kind of solutions we have offered to the customer? What kind of services we have offered to the customer? The whole information we can able to automate with one place with the help of CRM. By using CRM applications, we can able to store all customer details. The customer may be an old customer, the customer may be a new customer also, recently who has purchased the product also. So all the customer's information we can able to automate with one place by using that CRM application. So that by using that Salesforce CRM, we can able to automate all the existing customers and the new customers' information at one place. Okay, that is the first benefit of CRM applications. Okay, now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, the first benefit is we can able to automate all the existing customers' information and the new customers' information at one place with the help of that Salesforce CRM application. Next, the second benefit. The second benefit is we can able to we can able to track the customer details at one place. Like I would like to maintain the 360 degree view of the customer at one place. 360 degree view means what? From capturing the customer till now, what are the various interactions we had? Everything we can able to automate at one place. Okay, everything we can able to automate at one place with the help of that Salesforce CRM. Like for example, come to a general scenario. Imagine that nowadays, if you want to take any loan from any of the bank, we need to submit our Aadhaar card and PAN cards and necessary documentations. If you know that Aadhaar card number, then with that Aadhaar card number, we can track everything, the complete details of that person. Like as for this person, what are the various properties he is having? What are the various bank accounts he is having? What are the various loans he is having? What are the various vehicles he has purchased? Everything we can able to track at one place. By using simply your other card number, we can able to track everything, the complete history, your properties, your loans, your bank accounts, everything, how much amount is there in each and every bank, everything we can able to track at one place. Like the similar way, by using this Salesforce CI application, we can track the complete history of the customer at one place by using that Salesforce CI. That facility is available. Okay, 
so that by using the Salesforce CRM, we can maintain the 360 degree view of the customer at one place. Okay, tracking the complete history of the customer is called as the 360 degree view. That means from capturing the customer till now, what are the interactions that we have? Everything we can able to automate at one place by using that Salesforce CRM. Okay, that facility is available. By using the Salesforce CRM, we can able to maintain all the sales information, services information, marketing information at one place. In order to run your organization, we need some marketing features. We need some sales related features. We need some service related features. All the features we can able to automate at one place by using that Salesforce CRM. That means, in order to run your business successfully, whatever the features are required, all the features are available in one place with the help of Salesforce CRM. So that Salesforce CRM application is used to automate successfully your business needs. In order to automate your business processes, it may be sales related, service related, marketing related, all the features we can able to automate at one place by using the Salesforce CRM application. These are the various benefits that we have as part of this Salesforce <coughs> CRM application. Okay, clear? Now, so when coming to the Salesforce CRM, Salesforce CRM has been introduced in the year 2000. Salesforce CRM has been introduced into the year 2000. That means almost 18 to 19 years in the industry. Salesforce CRM is not a new programming in the market. It's not a new organization. It's available since almost 20 years, 18 to 19 years in the industry. Okay. So now Salesforce CRM has been introduced in the year 2000. That means almost 19 to 20 years, okay, we are utilizing that Salesforce CRM into the market. But the people will talk about that Salesforce CRM is a new programming or the new CRM tool in the industry. It's not a new one. It's available since almost 20 years. But since almost seven years, it is in very popular, which is in very huge demand. It's in huge demand since almost seven to eight years in the industry. Okay, so that we are having so many opportunities are Salesforce. Now, no matter what of this one here, what we can do with the help of the Salesforce CRM. By using the Salesforce CRM, we can automate all the business processes like sales, service processes, marketing processes, all these processes we can able to automate at one place with the help of Salesforce CRM. Now, the second one. We can automate all the existing customers and new customers' information at one place. In order to automate all the existing customers and the new customers' information at one place, we can use the help of Salesforce CRM. And by using this Salesforce CRM, we can maintain the 360-degree view of the customer. We can maintain the 360-degree view of the customer at one place by using that Salesforce CRM. All these facilities have been given by Salesforce as part of Salesforce CRM. In order to run your business successfully, to automate all the business processes related to sales and the service, marketing, everything we can able to automate with the help of the ready-made features which has been given by Salesforce in terms of an application called as Salesforce CRM application, which has been introduced by Salesforce in the year 2000. Now, now here we can raise a question. So now Salesforce CRM is in huge demand. Salesforce CRM is the world's number one leader in the CRM space. <coughs> Salesforce CRM has captured most of the CRM market in IT industry. Why? Why this Salesforce CRM is in huge demand? And that too, this Salesforce CRM is not that much old. This is available in the IT industry since almost 18 to 19 years. <laughs> Why it is in huge demand right now? Why that much of popularity for Salesforce CRM in IT industry nowadays? Don't we have any CRM applications before the year 2000? Don't we have any businesses before the year 2000? 
Don't we have any organizations before the year 2000? Don't we have any customers before the year 2000? Yes, everything. Because we have so many organizations, so many businesses which are running since almost 100 years. We are having so many banking organizations which are running more than 100 years. We are having so many manufacturing organizations which are running since almost more than 100 years. We are having so many customers, so many businesses are available which are running since more than 100 years. Then how these people have managed their business information? At that time, those people are having some different CRM application at that time. Because before year 2000, before year 2000, we have so many organizations, so many businesses, so many customers are available, so many CRM applications are also available. Because Salesforce CRM has been introduced into the world in the IT industry in the year 2000. Before year 2000, we have so many other CRM applications are also available. Like we are having Sugar CRM. Sugar CRM is a very, very popular CRM tool which is available in the industry since almost 30 to 40 years. Okay, Sugar CRM is a very, very older CRM tool which is available in the IT industry since almost 30 to 40 years. Okay, still so many people are utilizing Sugar CRM. Few people have been completely migrated from Sugar CRM to Salesforce. Why? We'll see the reasons also. And we are having some more popular CRM applications. People solve. PeopleSoft CRM. Next, Siebel CRM. We are having Infor CRM. We are having Synergy CRM. We are having NetSuite CRM. We are having SAP CRM. We are having Parking CR. And then we are having Microsoft Dynamics CR. <laughs> like that, we are having so many CRM applications are available okay, before the year 2000. Then why the sales for CRM is in huge demand? What are the drawbacks in this existing CRM applications? Why the people are moving towards the sales for CRM? Because what are the CRM applications that we have before the year 2000? All the CRM applications are on premise. Okay, these are all are on premise. On premise means what? Which requires the installation first. That means first of all we have to buy the license of the software by investing the huge amount. Then we have to maintain our own server. In the server we have to install that software. Then only we can able to use this software to automate your business process. Because what are the CRM applications that we have before the year 2000? These all are on premise software. The first drama is these all are on premise. On premise. That means what? First of all, we have to buy the license of the software, we have to install into the local server, then only we can start utilizing that. These are the process of on premise. But in this case, as a small organization, if you want to buy this uh, CRM application, if the CRM application's license is very, very huge, very, very expensive, then as a startup company, as a mid-sized company, as a small company, I may not be able to afford. I may not be able to invest that much of huge amount in order to buy the expensive license of that software. So at that time, small, small organizations may not be able to use this software. This is one of the major drawbacks over here. Okay? Because what are the CRM applications are available before the year 2000? These all are on premise. That means we need to buy the license of the software first. To buy the license, we have to do the huge investment. Okay, we have to do the huge investment. So if it is a big organization, they can able to invest that amount. If it is a small organization, they can't able to afford that much of huge amount. So at that time, small organizations are not able to use this kind of applications because they can't invest that much of huge amount to buy the expensive license of that. CRM software. Because of the, the people are losing some customers, they're losing some revenue, they're losing some profit also. Next, the second major benefit that I'm saying is we need to do the aggregation targets. Okay, aggregation problem. What do you mean by aggregation problem? You know, already we have discussed in the demo session. What do you mean by aggregation problem? 
activation is happening in the sense. We found we need to update the software with the latest version of the licenses. Suppose, for example, assume that one year back I'm using I purchased some license apps from Sugar CRM. Sugar CRM some version 1.4. Assume that one year back I have invested the huge amount to purchase the license of the Sugar CRM version 1.4. I have invested that amount, I have purchased that license, I have installed into my local server and utilizing this. It is working very fine, there is no issue. Since almost for one year I am using the Sugar CRM, it is working very fine. So recently, that organization has introduced the second version, nothing but latest version of the Sugar CRM, that is version 2.0, which is having some latest features. I want those latest features, then what we can do? We need to upgrade. How to update that one? We need to buy the latest version of that license first. Okay? We need to buy the latest version of that Sugar CRM software. We invest in the huge amount, get the latest version of the software, upgrade into your local system so that we can get the latest of features. Okay? So now, suppose for example, I did the investment of okay, to buy the latest version of that Sugar CRM version 2.0. I have upgraded into my local system, it is working very fast. Again, one more year is over. Now the organization has introduced one more version of the Sugar CRM version 3.0, which is having some more additional features. Then what we can do? Right. The same story has to be get repeat again. That means again we have to do the huge investment by the latest version of the Sugar CRM, that is version 3.0 version. We need to buy by investing the huge amount and then we need to update. That means for keep on, whenever you got the latest version of the software into that. IT industry are into that world, we need to buy the latest version of the license, we invest in the huge amount, we need to upgrade into your systems so that we can get that latest the features of the software. That means what keep on we need to upgrade, keep on we need to buy the latest version of the license in order to get the latest the features. The same problem the people are facing in the real world also. Because when coming to the mobiles, for every three months, the mobile manufacturer is introducing the latest model of mobile into that market with some different configuration, with some different designs, with some different features, and with a different configuration, with a different prices. In order to get that latest of features, the people are purchasing the latest version of that mobile, latest model of that mobile, by investing the huge amount. Keep on the people are going to be investing the huge amount to buy the latest models okay, for each and every three months. That means it is going to be increasing your investments. It will be reducing your profit. These are the major drawbacks that we have as part of our demise. Okay, so like as your mobiles here also, if you want to get the latest version features, then we need to buy the latest version of that license by investing the huge amount. So this is one of the major problems as part of the existing CRM applications. Next, one more major problem is what are the CRM applications that we have before year 2000? These are strictly CRM applications. These are strictly CRM applications. So what do you mean by strictly CRM application? Because these applications are purely offering some set of ready-made features to you by default. Okay? They're offering some ready-made features to you. But there is no possibility to develop your own custom application. That means what, what are the features they have offered to you, we can use only that features. Okay, we can use only those features in order to automate our business processes. But we can't develop any of our custom application by using that software. By using the CRM software, just we can able to automate our business processes because these are purely no coding tools. No need to write any additional code in order to utilize that. These are purely no coding tools. Directly we can use these tools. We can use the ready-made features to automate your customer information. But by using that software, we can't build any of our custom application, like as banking applications, finance applications, healthy care, manufacturing, construction, consulting, education related. This kind of applications we can't build. There is no such possibility. Because these are purely CRM applications which are offering some ready-made features to you, which we can able to utilize. That's it. We can't develop our own custom application because they are not offering any platform fee. Okay, they are not offering any platform to you, simply they are going to be offering that CRM feature. That's it. We don't have any platform with them. They are purely CRM applications, strictly CRM. They are not offering any platform to develop your own custom application. These are few major drawbacks that we have as part of the existing CRM application. 
The existing CRM applications are purely on MIs, which requires installation of the software first. For that time, we have to buy the license, maintain your own server, we have to install. Second drawback is keep on mini upgraded software by investing the huge amount to buy the latest version of the licenses whenever we plan a new release into the market. Third one is the purely CRM applications which are not offering any platform to develop your own custom application. We can't build our own custom applications by using this CRM applications. These are purely the CRM software. That means purely strictly CRM applications which are not offering any platform. Okay. These are few major drawbacks are available as part of the existing CRM applications. So what are the drawbacks that we have inside these existing CRM applications? All these drawbacks are being overcome inside that sales for CRM. In sales for CRM, they have overcome all these drawbacks. They have avoided all these drawbacks. So how, when coming to the sales for CRM, sales for CRM is purely the on-demand application, it's purely a cloud CRM application. Which it does not require any installation, which it does not require any installation. So, Salesforce CRM is the world's first on demand CRM application in the IT industry. Before that year, before the CR, Salesforce CRM, we have so many CRM applications are available, but these all are on demand. That means we have installed, but Salesforce CRM application does not require any installation. Okay, it does not request any installation directly. We can access the application by using browser and the internet access. Okay, so Salesforce CRM is the world's first argument CRM application in the IT industry. Okay, now, now we can talk this one. It is the world's first on demand CRM application in the IT industry. So it is the world's first on-demand CRM application in the IT industry, which does not require any installation. Now, the second one. When coming to the Salesforce CRM, Salesforce CRM is the world's number one leader. The world's number one leader in the CRM space. It's the world's number one leader in the CRM space. So when you observe any survey in the internet, it is clearly indicating that Salesforce CRM is the world's number one leader in the CRM space okay, since the, the last three continuous years. There is no competitor for Salesforce okay, for the next 10 years. Sometime before, Salesforce people will start off, Pega will be the competitor for Salesforce, but Pega people are unable to beat Salesforce because they are having only that service cloud application. But Salesforce is offering all the cloud services. Sales cloud services are offering, service cloud features are offering, marketing cloud features are offering, commerce cloud features, health cloud features also, analytics features also, each and every feature is offering the Salesforce. Okay, so we don't have any nearby competitor for Salesforce for the next 10 years. Okay. Now, the third one, when coming to the Salesforce, Salesforce CRM is not only offering the CRM application, it is offering a platform also. It has come up with, with a platform. That means it is offering a platform also. Okay, it is offering a platform also through which we can able to build your own custom applications as well. Not only storing your customer's data, we can develop your own custom applications also. That facility is available. Okay, we can build your own custom application. The custom applications may be either banking or finance or healthy care, manufacturing, consulting, construction, education, whatever the application that you want, every application we can build with the help of the Salesforce CRM features. The facility is available as part of Salesforce CRM. Okay, now. So now here in this case, you can raise a question. So where we can use this Salesforce CRM? Salesforce CRM can be utilized by only the big big organizations? No. Salesforce CRM can be utilized for a small hotel to a very big organization also. For a very big MNC also, we can use this Salesforce CRM. Why? Because when it comes to Salesforce, they are purely concentrated on the organizations. Now here we can raise one more question also. So we are having so many CRM applications also in the IT industry before the year 2000. Then why again Salesforce people has concentrated on CRM applications? 
We don't have any banking applications in IT industry. We don't have finance applications. We don't have manufacturing application. Then why not Salesforce people are concentrating on this one? Why they are concentrating on CRM application again? Why? Because there is, suppose if the Salesforce people are building a banking application, who will use the banking application? Only the banking organizations will use. We many people won't use that application. If these people are building an insurance application, only the insurance organizations will use that. We many people won't use. If they're building any finance application, only the financial organizations will use that application. Very many people won't use. That means these applications are specific to a category of organization. These applications are specific to a category of people. But when it comes to the sales force, they don't want to categorize, they don't want to focus on a specific category of people. They want to capture all the organizations. They want to capture all the customers. For that, they have concentrated on CRM application. Because for every business, okay, customer is the base, customer is the guard. Now, tell me where we have these customers basically. We are having hotels. For hotels, do we have the customers or not? Yes. Restaurants, do we have the customers? Yes. Supermarket, do we have the customers? Yes. yes. Shopping malls, do we have the customers? Yes. Banking, do we have the customers? Yes. And the insurance organization, do we have the customers? Yes. Healthcare, we have the customers. Education, we have the customer. Construction, we have the customer. Consulting, we have the customer. Chemical, we have the customer. Wherever you go, for every organization, we have the customer. Okay? Wherever we have the organization, there is a customer is available. Wherever you have the customer, there you can use sales for CR. Sales for CR is not specifically for the banking, for insurance, for the like as some insurance organization. Salesforce CRM can be utilized from a small hotel to a very big MN sales so to automate all the customers at one place. Because Salesforce CRM is flexible from a small organization to a very big MN sales so we can able to automate that too. The Salesforce CRM application is purely a cloud application so that no need to do the huge investment. We can able to take that Salesforce CRM application on a rental basis which can be accessible through by using any device and we can able to automate all the business processes from different different locations. Okay, we can able to automate your business processes from any location, whatever you want. By using any device, we can access this Salesforce CRM application. That's what your Salesforce CRM is having the huge demand in the market for nowadays. Most of the people, most of the customers are utilizing Salesforce CRM applications in order to automate their business processes. In order to automate the sales processes, service processes, marketing processes, most of the people are using the Salesforce CRM application to automate their business processes. That's what your Salesforce CRM is, the world's number one leader in the CRM space in the last three continuous years. And that too, we are having more number of opportunities are Salesforce CRM also. Okay? Clear? Understood the concept of Salesforce CRM? No. So now Salesforce CRM is used to automate all your existing customers' information and the new customers' information at one place. And Salesforce CRM application is purely an on-demand application or a cloud application which can be accessible but by using any device without any installation. By using Salesforce CRM application, we can able to automate all our customers' information from a small hotel to a very big MNCI. So we can able to automate all our business processes. Okay, so now these are some major benefits are available as far as Salesforce CRM. Okay, clear? Now, so now again in this case, when coming to Salesforce people, they are not only offering the SaaS, they are offering the platform services also. The second service, they are offering the platform services. So, what do you mean by this SaaS? <laughs> platform as in right. Platform as a service. So, what do you mean by a platform basically? Platform in the sense what? Bro. Platform in the sense what? It is a place where we can design the screens and write the scripts and things like that. Right. Hmm. Now, when coming to the platform, Platform is nothing but a development environment. Suppose, for example, okay, suppose for example, if you want to buy a software, for example, I have started a restaurant. Recently, I have started a restaurant. To automate all my restaurant processes, I need a software. 
to store all my food items information, all my orders information, my customers information, and my daily sales information. To store all this information, I need a software. But in the IT industry, we don't have any ready-made software to automate my restaurant process. Okay, we don't have any ready-made software to automate my restaurant process. Then what we can do? We can develop our own software. We can develop our own software according to our business requirement. According to our business requirement, we can develop our own application. We can base on our requirement. The facilities are available. If you want to develop your own software, what we need? We need some programming language. We need some technologies. We need some databases. We need some tools. With the help of all these resources, we can build our own software, whatever we want. Our own application, whatever we want. So in this case, to develop your own custom application, whatever the resources are required, whatever the programming languages, our technologies, our databases, our tools are required, the combination of all these resources are called as platform. Okay? The combination of all these resources are called as platform. When coming to the platform, platform is nothing but a development environment. It is nothing but a development environment which provides a collection of programming languages, technologies, databases, and tools with the help of which we can able to develop our own custom applications. We can develop our own custom applications with the help of platform. We can develop any kind of applications also. It may be banking applications, finance applications, manufacturing, healthy care, okay, consulting, construction, any kind of application we can build with the help of this platform. So that when coming to the Salesforce, they're not only offering that Salesforce CRM application, they're offering a platform also. Because if you don't want the CRM application, if you want the banking application, if you want the finance application, if you want the manufacturing application, at that time, we can build your application by your own. For that one, to build your own application, whatever the resources are required, we are offering these resources to the customers in the form of a platform that is called as platform as a service. Okay? So now we can take this platform resources and rental resources. That means as a service, as a service means what? We can take this complete resources on rental basis. We can take this platform on rental basis. We can take this programming languages, technologies, and the databases and tools, we can take it on rental basis also. But previously, we don't have this kind of rental concept in IT industry. With the help of cloud computing, we have, we have entered, we have introduced that rental concept in IT industry. We can take every IT resource on rental basis. So in this case, when coming to the Salesforce, they're offering their own platform also, which is used to build your own custom applications. So that when coming to the platform, platform is nothing but a development environment, which provides a collection of resources to develop your own custom applications. Okay, clear? Now, so by using this platform, what we can do, we can develop our own custom applications. What kind of applications? Purely cloud applications. The purely cloud applications. That means what? What are the applications offered by Salesforce? This is a cloud application. And what are the applications you are going to develop by using this platform? Those are also the cloud applications. Why? Because the future will be completely cloud applications. <laughs> Nobody will use that on-premise applications in future. Okay? After five years or after 10 years, the IT industry will be completely migrating into the cloud only. Everything can be accessible over the internet itself. So that here, what are the applications have been given by Salesforce, like a Salesforce CRM, which is purely a cloud application, and then what are the applications you are going to develop, those are also purely cloud applications. So there's no concept of an invest in Salesforce. Everything is cloud application. The applications given by Salesforce are also cloud applications, and the application which we are going to develop by using Salesforce also, those are also the cloud applications. Everything will be the cloud applications or on demand applications we are going to use in future completely. Okay, so that by using this host platform, by using this platform, we can able to build our own cloud applications also, which have been offered by Salesforce. Now, now tell me what is the platform offered by Salesforce to the customers? Salesforce has offered a platform called as Force.com platform. The Force.com platform. Force platform is the platform offered by Salesforce. So what this first platform platform contains, first platform platform contains some set of programming languages. Okay, some set of programming languages. Like as part of this first platform platform, Salesforce has given the various programming languages. The first one is the Apex programming. 
and the second one is what is the second programming language visual force programming language okay we are having apex programming and visual force programming apex programming syntax will be exactly similar like as your c programming syntax c++ syntax java syntax c sharp backend syntax and your apex programming syntax is exactly similar there is no change at all so the people okay the people who are from java or dotnet directly they can migrate to salesforce also because the programming style will be exactly similar 100% same there is no change at all in terms of variables in terms of coding stuff or not coding style everything will be the same okay and then when coming to the first platform platform they have introduced the two programming here one is apex programming language second one is visual force programming language So now by using this host platform platform, what we can do basically? What we can do by using this host platform platform, we can perform four basic operations. Okay, we can perform four basic operations. The first one by using this host platform platform, we can customize the existing Salesforce CRM applications. Okay, the first one we can customize the existing Salesforce CRM application. Customizing the Salesforce CRM application means what? Customizing in the sense, for example, I'm using that Salesforce CRM application. As part of Salesforce CRM, they have given hundred features. Okay, they have given hundred features. But my business is very very small. I don't have, I don't want those many number of features. Sixty features are sufficient for me to run my business. Sixty features are sufficient. We many forty features I don't want. Right now, it is not required for me. In this case, instead of displaying all 100 features on the user interface, I would like to remove these 40 features from my user interface. That means we can hide it. I'm not removing completely; just I'm hiding this one because these features are not required for me. In future, if these features are required, I would like to make it activated over here. That means I'm deactivating. I'm activating these features. Whenever if you don't want, you can deactivate. If you want, you can activate it again. That means these are like a pluggable components. Whenever you want to plug it, if you don't want to plug it out, okay. The facility is available to you, so that whatever the features have been given by Salesforce as part of Salesforce CRM, we can customize those features with the help of Force Platform platform. Okay, with the help of the Force Platform platform, we can customize those features also. Whatever the features are required, display those features on the user interface because I want to make those features handy to me. That means whenever I need the feature, I can able to click on the feature directly. I can use it. I don't want to make my user interface complex. I don't want to okay make my application complex. I don't want to impact on the application performance. I want to make my user interface very very simple and very very lightweight. So for that reason here, I don't want to display all the features at a time on my user interface. I want to display the regular activity features I want to display on my user interface. Remaining features I would like to make it high. Whenever I need it, I would like to activate those features again, so that we can customize those features with the help of our platform platform. Okay. Now, the second one. By using this first platform platform, we can leverage. We can leverage or we can extend the features by adding additional enhancements. By adding additional enhancements. So, what do you mean by this leveraging facility? What do you mean by this leverage? Leveraging in the sense extending. That means adding some more additional features. Now, in this case, for example. Assume that I'm using Salesforce CRM application. As part of CRM, they have given hundred features. I'm using the hundred features, and then now I want five additional features. Okay, I want five more additional features, but those are not there in Salesforce right now. Then what we can do? As part of my business, I need five more additional features, but those features are not there in Salesforce. Then what we can do? Do I need to wait till Salesforce is providing those features? No, I can't wait. When Salesforce will give those five features, I don't know. Maybe Salesforce will be providing the features or not? We don't know because those five features are required only for my business. If the features are required for all the 
vaccination, the cells was will provide in the next release. But these features are required only for me right now itself. But those are not available. Then what we can do? In this case, we can build those five features by our own. We can add that features to our existing application. Already I'm having 100 features inside my CRM application. As part of my business, I need five more features additionally. Those five features we can build, we can add it to the existing CRM application so that all the one seed of five features we can use to automate the business process. That means what? What are the features that have been given by Salesforce? Not only utilizing those features, if you want some more additional enhancements, there is a possibility of extension. We can leverage, we can extend the functionality by adding some more additional enhancements also. With the help of the post platform, platform, we can extend and enhance the facilities also. We can add some more additional features also. Okay, what are the five additional features I apply with only those five features added to the existing CIM application? We can use all the one zero five features to automate the business processes. That extension facilities are also available as part of Salesforce, Salesforce platform, that is force.com. Okay, clear now. The third, so now as of what we did, we are customizing the existing CRM features, we are adding some more features to the CRM application. Okay. But sometimes, along with the CRM application, I want a banking application also. Because recently we have entered into the banking sector also. We have entered into the financial sector also. We have entered into the consulting sector also. So I want those applications also. Then what we can do? In this case, we can develop those applications by our own. Okay? By using that first platform platform, we can develop our own custom applications also. Okay? As a third facility, we can develop the custom application, custom applications like as banking, finance, insurance, healthcare, life sciences, pharmaceutical applications. Like that, whatever the application that you want, we can build. Along with that, you can raise the question. Sir, by using this first platform, platform, can you develop by your own CRM application? Yes, that is also possible. Okay. Not only developing the banking, finance, insurance, and healthcare like that, we can develop even more CRM application also. Of course, Salesforce might be giving the Salesforce CRM. If you want to develop even more CRM, that also we can do. On Salesforce platform, we have a CRM application is available that is called as Viva CRM. Okay, Viva CRM is purely built upon Salesforce. So it's purely built upon Salesforce platform. Okay, now, so now in this case, by using this first platform platform, not only customizing the existing features, not only adding some additional enhancements, we can build your own custom applications also. Okay, now. So once the application has been getting developed, then in order to integrate that, we can integrate the applications. We can integrate the Salesforce applications with the external systems. Okay, we can integrate the Salesforce applications with some external systems also. Like for example, assume that I have developed a small e-commerce application. Okay, e-commerce application, like a shopping cart application where the customer no need to visit my organization, customer can able to buy the products through Arnold itself. So we have developed the application by using Salesforce platform. Application is ready. Today, customer has access to my application. He has selected some products here to be get purchased through Arnold. Once the customer has selecting some products, then it is giving that bill. Okay, it is a bill amount which has some 10,000. If you want to buy that product, then we have to make the payment first. Okay. Once you make the payment, then only one order will be getting generated. Order will be allocating to my salesperson. My salesperson will prepare that order. He will be delivering the items to your customer's space. So in this case, we need to make the payment first. Once you make the payment, then only that order will be getting prepared. Then only the salesperson will deliver the items to your place. So at that time, how can we make the payment? In order to make the payment, we have to connect to the banking systems. We have to connect to the banking application. So at that time, I need to integrate, okay, I need to integrate my e-commerce application, my shopping cart application with the banking systems. At that time, in order to integrate your application with the external systems, we are using this a force platform platform. 
with the help of a course platform platform not only customizing the features not only building your own custom applications we can integrate your salesforce application with any excel system also we can integrate your salesforce application with any system that may be a java application dotnet application banking system financial system mainframe application sap application with any application we can integrate the possibility is available so that to perform all of these four operations we are using that post platform platform which has been introduced by salesforce as part of platform as a service the two this post platform platform is purely a cloud platform it is purely a cloud platform because as part of this post platform platform we are having some programming languages like as apex programming visual post program generally if you want to use any programming language like as java .NET, C, C++. At that time, we have installed that software into our local system first. We have installed that programming language software into our local system first. But when comes to the post platform platform, it's purely a cloud platform which it does not require any installations. Okay, which it does not require any installations for the code. No need to install anything into a local system. Even though you are writing the code, no need to install anything into a local system. Then you can raise the question: So how can we write the code? In this case, how can we write that code? Where we can write that code? Generally, whenever we are using some any other programming languages, we are using some node tag, we are writing the code we are saving into a local system. But when coming to the Salesforce, no need to use any node tag editors. No need to install anything into a local system. Nothing will be available into a local system. Everything will be there inside that cloud space. Everything will be available inside that internet only. So at that time, where we can write that code? The code we are going to be writing through the browser itself. Upon developing the application, upon writing the code, your browser will be divided into two parts automatically. Okay, browser will be divided into two parts automatically. At the bottom part, we are going to be writing the code, and on the top part, you can see the result also. Whatever the code you are writing, that code will not be storing into a local system. The code will be storing inside the cloud platform. That means inside that internet. So nothing will be there in your local system. So that everything will be accessible, everything will be implemented with the help of the browser itself. So that in order to access that Salesforce applications, in order to develop your own Salesforce applications, just we need the browser and the internet access. Okay, just we need browser and the internet access. Okay, for example, let me show you a practical thing. For example, let me log into my existing Salesforce CRM yes. application and then let me show you how can we where we can see the results. So whenever if you want to write that code, generally the people are using some node tag as some editor the people are using. But now when coming to the Salesforce, no need to use any node tag editors, okay, no need to use any prerequisite software into the local system. Everything can be accessible inside the browser itself. Now, so whenever we are going to be using that Salesforce at that time, what are the browser upon developing the application? What are the browser that we have? The browser will be divided into two parts. So now this is the browser that we have. At the bottom, you will be having a small editor. Inside the browser itself, you will be getting a small editor over here. So this is the editor where we can able to write our code. We can save that code. Once you click on the save, the code will be storing inside the internet, not into a local system. So this is the code where we can able to use the editor where we can able to write the code and we can able to see the result here itself. Suppose here I'm removing some of the content over here. Okay, I'm removing some of the content. I want to show only this line of code over here. Okay, I'm going to display only this line of code. So once you click on save, we can able to save the code. We can see the result inside the browser itself. Everything will be through the browser only. Nothing we are installing into a local system. Nothing will be saving into a local system. Whatever the code I have written, this code will not be storing into my local system. This code will be storing inside the cloud platform itself. That means we are writing the code, we are saving the code, we are compiling the code, we are executing the code, we are reviewing the result, everything inside the browser itself. So that to connect to that Salesforce application, we need a browser, we need an internet access. That's it. So for Salesforce implementations, we don't want any prerequisite software. Just we need a browser, internet access. Everything will be available inside that cloud space itself. Okay? Clear? Now. Um, so that we are not offering any software for Salesforce. We'll see um, how to create our own yeah. Salesforce application. 
how to create our own Salesforce account, we'll see practically as part of that session as well. From there, we'll see how to customize the features and how to configure the features, how to develop our own custom application, how to build our own business logics, how to integrate with the Salesforce application with any external system, we'll see practically one by one. Okay. So this is the basic information about the Salesforce CRM and then the post platform platform. Hello, Fer okay. Feroz. Yeah. Yes. yes. Hello. Yeah, just, just a minute. Super. Okay. So now this is the basic information about the Salesforce CRM and the post platform platform. Okay. So because Salesforce is not only offering the CRM application that are offering the platform also, along with that, they're offering infrastructure also. That means Salesforce is maintaining the servers. In how many regions Salesforce is maintaining the servers? Three regions. First one is North America region. Second one is Europe region. Third one is Asia Pacific region. In each and every region, they are maintaining the various servers. In that servers, they are going to be allocating some amount of memory space. In that memory space, your data, your applications, your documents, your files, your records, everything will be getting resides. Nothing will be storing inside your local system. Everything will be storing inside that cloud space which has been offered by Salesforce. Okay? Clear? Yeah. So this is the information about the Salesforce CRM and then post platform platform. Tomorrow, we are going to be discussing about the CRM terminology, CRM process, or CRM vocabulary. Like, whenever we are using that CRM application, there are some specific terminologies are available. There are some specific words or vocabularies available. We'll see the terminology. What exactly the terms or the objects or the vocabulary that we're using as part of Salesforce CRM, we'll see that CRM process concept. Because for the next three months completely, we are using that same terminology. So the terminology is very, very important. So we'll see that CRM vocabulary in the CRM process in tomorrow's session. Okay, clear? Any questions? Hello. This one? Okay. So now the first one. So now by using that post platform platform, we can customize the existing Salesforce CRM application. Customizing means what? What are the features that have been given by Salesforce? All the features may not be required in some cases. I need only a few features that is sufficient for my business. The remaining features I don't want. At that time, instead of displaying all the features on the user interface, we can hide some of the features also. We can remove some of the features also according to my business requirement so that we can make the user interface very, very simple and we can make the user interface lightweight. So we can avoid the complexity in the user interfaces. For that reason, we can go with that customization facility as part of post platform. What we what we require, we can make it visible. Remaining thing, we can make it hide also. Okay. Now, Salesforce Lightning is also one of the feature as part of Salesforce. Just the yeah, this is the feature where exactly we can able to have a different looking field. In order to provide a different looking field, we are using that Salesforce Lightning platform. Okay. The functionality will be everything will be the same, but just the difference is user interface looking field will be a bit different. As part of this course, we are going to be covering both Lightning Admin and then Classic Admin course. Okay, Lightning Development will be a separate course. It's a different development tool as well provided. No, no, the tool is not different. The tool is same, same architect programming we are using there also. Nothing different. Just the user interface will be different. Because to make the user interface a bit look like a tracking, that's it. We are using that the Lightning features. What are the various versions I will Now we'll see that one. The next thing after we'll see what are the various releases are available in Salesforce. Because Salesforce is not providing the version, they're providing the releases in terms of seasonal basis. Every year you will be getting the three releases from Salesforce, like as winter release, spring release, summer release. Okay. So what are the various releases are available? What is the current release of Salesforce? What is the previous release? What is the next release? When Salesforce is giving the new release, at what date and what time, how we will get the latest release features, everything we'll see during the releases concept over. Okay, further we are having few more topics are there which are theoretical part. We'll see those concepts over. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Let's meet up tomorrow at the same time. All right. Just to get the Hello? Just to get the
Yeah, um, I have a small query regarding the changes. If you do any changes in um, uh, online, like you know, in uh, development uh, server, will that impact uh, production server, like live server? No, no, we have to, we have to move, we have to migrate that. Okay, we okay, so that okay. we have to migrate into the kill production, like as we can migrate to the kill server okay. and then you can then create in the production kill, we need to move, migrate. Yeah. Okay, so that, okay, that's a different process, uh, right? So once we've done the changes, if it is everything working fine, then we have to move these changes to the live server. Yes, right. Okay, okay. And and also one more question. I'm just a bit confused with the CRM and ERP. So basically, uh, basically this uh, particular Salesforce is a customer relationship management system. That is a standalone system, right? I mean, uh, uh, that's a system like which give uh, overview of customer uh, 